God bless you, God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. To him all the praise, to him all the glory. Please say with me and like and share my uh, channel please and also uh, share this message so many times for so other can receive also the benefits from this teaching. I don't want to stay too long in this but a wise son heard his father's instruction. It's very interesting if you are wise you will hear the instruction of the father. By hearing comes faith, by hearing comes also teach the great teacher wisdom. And it's very amazing if you are, this is amazing. He hearing is receiving. Hearing and who is God? God gives life. God gives a light. It's the solution for all of our It's the solution for our life to receive life. Not our eternal life but daily life. If you can connect yourself with the Father through Jesus in the Spirit, through Jesus in the Spirit we have access to the Father, we are connected. That means you are wise. If you can discern and explain it for yourself by the knowledge from God, you are wise. And this is uh, uh, Proverbs 13 verse 1. A wise son heareth his father's instruction. Instruction, Jesus said in this way, I am the way and I am true and life. There is always instruction. If you are walking in life in circles on you're walking on roundabouts with certain um, uh, parts details in your life that means that you are don't you don't hear the instruction of the father if you are willing and first of all the step before is invest yourself and give your life to Christ and invest yourself in prayer and reading it can be very simple to make and to go to church connect yourself with the church go to online and listen God will reveal himself and will give you wisdom so you can hear what the Father gives you for instruction if your life if you don't know instructions you don't know the way yeah? John 14 verse 6 again Jesus say, I am the way. That means there is always instruction needed to find and to direct your steps. But a scorner heareth not a rebuke. If you are take it lightly or you don't take point, you 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 don't pay attention to what for example let me make bring it down to bring it break it down to that you're in church and somebody is speaking to you and you don't take note or you pay don't pay attention why it don't feels nice or good but you can also if you go home you go for a moment in your room alone also if you are a mother a brother or a mother or a uh, Father, you can step outside one, maybe ten minutes, and you pray. If it is important, you 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 separate yourself and you go to God. What does this mean? You pay attention, and maybe not special to this brother, but you pay attention in your your investment in your you you bring an investment in your relationship with God. Sometimes can God send people into your life to push you into a relationship and a deeper relationship with our Lord Jesus himself step two is if you cannot receive 
and hear instruction from other brothers and sisters, maybe it's instruction from God himself. How can you find your way with Christ in life? You don't find the truth if you don't receive instruction and life. Life comes always with truth. Jesus is the way, truth and life. It's a package. It's himself. Prophets 13 verse 1. I want to round up with the last one. My son, be wise and make my heart glad that I may answer him that reproach me. The devil comes to God about Job. The devil comes about you to God. God is in judge. Think about this. There is no, there is only a possibility if there is a legal ground. Think about this. Be wise. I want to round up with the last one, a very beautiful one, and it's well known. But he answered and said, It is written, Men shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Through the mouth from God comes life into your life to give you a life, an eternal life, but also life in every daily life. Right. Matthew 4 verse 4. Please share and that the Lord will keep you and bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ.